Hi everyone and welcome into the Factor Back Studios for the AccuSure Playbook. Now this week we're going to take a look at the matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the Steelers defense. The Atlanta Falcons really run the football very well. Now one thing about when you run the football very well, you're going to see things like the full house. There's going to be three backs in the backfield with the quarterback. Quarterback's going to run it. They're going to do a lot of different things running the football. But no matter what you do running the football, the key is controlling the line of scrimmage. If the offense controls the line of scrimmage, they're going to control the game. If the defense controls the line of scrimmage, they're going to control the opponent. So that's what we're going to take a look at. First, let's look at the Atlanta Falcons and how they run the football and how really good they are at it and what the real challenge is for this Steeler defense. Now, on this particular run, the point of attack is really, it's called an outside zone. This back is actually, the point of attack is to run to the outside as fast as he can and then look for running lanes, okay? Here's the blocking scheme. These two are gonna double here to over here. Double in here to here. We're gonna get a double here to here and we're singling back here. What they wanna do is they wanna get the defense to flow because when they flow laterally, they don't stay together. They create those running lanes. So let's snap the ball. Let's see what happens. Well, the first order of business, they have absolutely dominated initially. They got control here, they got control here and they're cutting off here. So. When you cut off here, you get movement here, all the way up to these guys, you're going to create running lanes for your runner. It is very hard to play defense when you're moving laterally. You'll see this more as we get right here. Now they have really manifested where they have. This double team is absolutely controlled. This right here, done. Okay, the cutoffs have already happened, and that means you've got a canale here for your runner. That's a big time block from the offensive line, how they work together, and chunks of yards for your back. Well, let's take a look at the, the Steelers. This is very similar to the Monday night game. Um, very similar concept. Now, the wide receiver comes in. Instead of it being a tight end, it's a wide receiver. However, this is really kind of the same style of run. Point of attack for your runner, we're going to go to the left this time. He's going to try to target to the outside. Remember what you want. You want to get these guys flowing this way. You do not want them coming this way on this particular run because it's doomed. And especially over here at the point of attack. Let's clear the screen. Remember, point of attack, okay? All the blocking schemes that you have, you're gonna get single blocks here, you're gonna get a double here, and you gotta win right there. Let's snap the ball. Let's look at what happens right away. Okay, initially, look what happened. This is actually outstanding by Millet, okay? He wins right here. High Smith, another great job. Controlling the edge, not get any movement here. Hey, we're a beautiful job of taking this double team on, and here comes Bush to help out. You've got penetration here already and pursuit on the backside. This spells doom for the runner. You've got no flow, you've got penetration, you have pursuit, and you got the edge secured. Controlling the line of scrimmage. When you control the line of scrimmage, you control the opponent. And they do a beautiful job here. There at the end, I mean, this is just outstanding. You, you get off the block like this, and make the tackle, and you've got other, all your buddies there, that's how you play run defense. Now, I know the Colts had some chunks, but they didn't have a lot of explosive runs, and that's the danger in this game. No explosive runs, you control the line of scrimmage and neutralize their offense, you force them into things they don't do very well, and that's still the football. So if they neutralize the running game, they got a great chance of controlling the opponent and winning this game. 